Hello, in this example, I'll show you how easy it is to set up an integration between HubSpot and Microsoft Dynamics CRM. The first thing we'll do in TCI Cloud is move to the integration section. And from here, our dashboard, we'll go and set up our connectors. In order to set up the connectors, we'll need two different connectors, one for HubSpot and one for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. You'll get them from the marketplace. So move to the marketplace. And from within the marketplace, let's filter all of our connectors, because there are quite a few, to just connectors for connect. The first one we need is HubSpot. So let's type in HUB to filter down to HubSpot. Click on the connector and click on enable. And let's do the same thing for Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM. All right, that has now installed the connectors into your system. The next thing we need to do is actually set these connectors up. So to do that, we'll go over to the actual connections section. And we'll go and we'll build our connections. So we'll click on create. And just like before, we'll filter our connections down to just the uh, connect based ones and we'll click on HubSpot. That'll be the first one we're going to build. For the name, <coughs> excuse me, we'll enter in HubSpot. All right. And we'll need to put in an account number. So let's do that right now. I'll use my account number and we'll paste this in here. And we'll click on authenticate. Okay, you'll need to log into HubSpot, which is what I'm doing right now and pick the account that you're looking to use. Um, I'll tick that one, click on close, finish up with a test, and finish up with an OK. Our HubSpot connection is created. So now we need to do the same thing for Dynamics. So let's get that started over here. We'll click on create. Again, we're filtered by connect. We'll choose the Dynamics CRM option. And we'll give this one the name right here of Dynamics CRM. And for our user ID, you'll paste that in. And for our password, we'll type that in. And after that, you'll want to click on Browse to search for your organization. My organization is called My Company, so I'm done. Your CRM connection has now been established. Click on OK. And we've now completed the process of setting up both our HubSpot and our Dynamics connections. After that, we need to go and create an app. So let's go to the Apps section. And we'll click on Create Import. This particular app will be an on a schedule type app. So we'll click on that and click on Create. We'll want to change the name. So you'll just highlight that and type in something like um, hub spot dash dynamics 365 slash CRM. That sounds good. And now we need to actually bring in the flow. We'll need to bring in the actual flow that we downloaded uh, when you first started this project. All right, if you're not aware of where that is, you can find that within the documentation um, and also where you're viewing this video. So we'll go and click on new flow, but we want to import the flow in. 
Let's go choose our files. Now that you've picked the file and clicked on OK, it will automatically add it in to the app. Notice how it's named Imported. Okay. The final thing that's left, because notice the status says Incomplete, is making sure that the connections inside of this flow are set up correctly. So let's go and take care of that now. We'll click on the flow, and notice how the HubSpot and the Dynamics CRM connections are getting set up. The reason why that they're automatically populating is because the names, HubSpot and Dynamics CRM, are the same names that this flow was designed to look for. If you did not use the same names, or maybe you're looking to reuse connections that you've set up in a previous example, you'll simply move over to the actual connection section, click on the gear, and click on reassign connection, which will give you a drop down and it will allow you to choose a different connector for this particular um, flow. Okay, so right now we're going to retrieve the metadata from Dynamics and once that's completed we'll move on. It may take a few moments for your connector to gather the metadata that it needs. This is common and the process will complete shortly. Okay, with the metadata now set, I like to click on validate. Sometimes validation can take a few moments. Please sit tight till the process completes. With validation complete, I'll click on apply and finalize everything with an okay. And you'll now see that the status of our flow is enabled. Okay. The other thing that you'll notice is that the app is ready to run. When you make a change and you come back to this screen, this will also say processing until the update is complete. It happened very quickly, so you didn't see that happen. But just in case you see this say processing, you now know why. And the reason why I even bring that up is because until it's finished processing, you can't click on run, which is what we're doing now. We're now running. Notice that you have the stop option. We can move to the execution history. And from this tab, you can see that our app is in process, running the flow that we just imported and set up. And we'll see in just a moment the status of, um, of how our project completed. And it has completed. OK, we've moved our records, and everything is working great. This completes our video on how to set up a HubSpot in Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM integration. Thank you for watching.